Hello, welcome to CubeMQ Microservices Demo. This demo will show how to connect CubeMQ cluster to three essential services, Redis Cache, Postgres Database, and Elastic Database. We will use CubeMQ connector to enable access for two types of application. The first one is an application that sends and receives requests to our services and get back responses using the CubeMQ query pattern. The second one will do the same as the first application, but will use KubeMQ as an API gateway to communicate via REST calls to our services, Redis, Postgres, and Elastic. So let's get started. Uh, definitely going to check that uh, we have all our services are uh, deployed and works. This is the Redis, the Elastic, and uh, Postgres. We can do kubectl get pods. Minus A. We can see that I have a Postgres running and Redis running. And also, if I will do STS as Elastic is deployed as a stateful set, we can see that I have Elastic search logging stateful set. Now, the next thing we're going to do is going to deploy KubeMQ cluster and the connectors um, to the Kubernetes cluster. There's a couple ways to do it, and the best way and the quickest way is to download it from kubemq.io website. Um, to do this, we're going to do um, kubemqctl apply minus f https get kubemq.io slash deploy. We're going to execute it, and as you can see, it's already deployed and the, all the uh, components are uh, up and running. And we can check it out with our uh, kubemq ctl um, CLI, kubemq ctl get c. We can see that I have already cluster, and also I can get con, and you can see that all the connectors are up and running. So after we deploy our uh, components, we're going to add uh, the integration to the services. Um, we're going to do it with, um, with the KubeMQ CLI tools. This is uh, the tool that can manage and operate KubeMQ components. Uh, KubeMQ, Q, MQ CTL M is for manager, and we can see that we uh, have uh, get a menu. The first thing we're going to do is to uh, add integration. So we're going to do manage integration. Um, going to add Redis. The destination is KubeMQ cluster. Targets. We're going to add a target, and we call it Redis. We're going to select the Redis cache and add the Redis URL. Here we're going to choose uh, what kind of source we'd like to use. Here we're going to use the query. This means that we're going to send and receive um, data from Redis. Redis and the defaults. Everything is default. And we can see that we have added the Redis one. I will do the same also for both Postgres and Elastic. I'm going to take the Postgres. Default, everything is default, and add elastic one. Same here. In the query and going to use a la plastic as the channel. And that's it. So 
As you can see, we have a list of three integrations, Elastic, Redis, and Postgres. All of them are using uh, source QMQ query for sentence still, and using the Redis, Postgres, Elastic channel as uh, a listening, listening source. Now, uh, we're going to test our integration by using an application that I pre-built it. I will uh, going to run this application and explain what this application is doing with the integration. This app is going to uh, send and receive requests for the three integration for Redis, Postgres, and Elastic. In Redis, we're going to run three type of requests. Set, get, and delete. In set, we are sending um, with a random key to Redis a data, getting it back, and then deleting this key from Redis. In Postgres, we're going to do two types of requests. One is transaction. This means that several queries running one after one. And in this case, we're going to check if a table is exists. If not, we're going to create it and then we're going to insert some data rows inside. And then we're going to do a query to get back results from the inserted rows that we did before in the transaction. In Elastic, we're going to do six requests. The first three are managing indexes. First thing we're going to check if the log index exists in the Elastic database. If it exists, we're going to delete it and then recreate this log index. And later on, we're going to do set, get, delete documents for the Elastic search. We're going to set and save a document to Elastic, get it back and do a delete for this document. To summarize, this application simulating the request and response that we can do with the three integration that we created before, the Redis, the Postgres, and the Elastic integration. Now we would like to add a source to our setup. In this case, we're going to add an HTTP source. An HTTP source allows other services that can communicate with HTTP REST request and communicate with Redis, Elastic, and Postgres. We're going to add integration. This time, we're going to add a source integration. We're going to call it HTTP. We're going to use POST. Uh, method and I'm going to use a dynamic mapping of HTTP request. This means that every request will uh, forward to a specific channel in QMQ. I'm going to use dynamic mapping and here I'm going to put query also and set also to dynamic and set everything. Here we have a new integration. HTTP that is listening to HTTP request in port 8080 and sending all the data to kubemq query target. In order to test this integration, we did the same as we did with the application before that sending directly data to kubemq query channel. Here we're going to use uh, HTTP and now, since we have a source integration that listening to HTTP request in port 8080, we're going to send and receive the same request that we did with the application, but this time we're going to forward it to uh, HTTP source at port 8080. So let's run it. Here we can see that we did the same request. But now we send it to web service at the address localhost 8080 slash Redis. I must say that I did a port forward to this connector, the QMQ sources in order to connect. And for Redis, we did the set, get and delete. And for Postgres, we did the same with transaction, query. And with 
the elastic we did the same with the indexes and the set get and delete this concludes our demo if you would like to try QMQ, please visit us at qmq.io slash quickstart thank you for watching see you at the next demo